I've never not prioritized this. No one has worked harder to deal with the violence used by individuals using weapons than I have. I'm the only one ever to have passed an assault weapons ban. I'm the only one that ever got a 10-year ban on assault weapons and clips of more than 10 bullets. Immediately upon us becoming in office, having an attorney general, I asked him to put together the things I could do by executive order, including dealing with new guns that can be made you can buy in pieces and put together, and other, uh, and, uh, and other initiatives. I strongly support, I strongly support the universal background checks, which I continue to push. The Congress has to step up and act. The Senate has to act. And I strongly support and continue and never stop supporting the ban on assault weapons and magazines that hold more than 10, 10 bullets. It doesn't mean that I can't also be working at the same time on the economy and on COVID. But it's not a question of my being able to set the agenda in the Senate as to what they will move to first. And so I continue and I strongly, strongly urge my Republican friends in the Congress who even refuse to bring up the House passed bill to bring it up now. This has to end. It's a national embarrassment. It is a national embarrassment what's going on. And it's not only these mass shootings that are occurring. Every single day, every single day, there's a mass shooting in, this, in the United States if you count all those who were killed out on the streets of our cities and our rural areas. It's a national embarrassment and must come to an end. And one last thing, the folks who own weapons, the folks who own guns, they support universal background checks. The majority of them think we should not be selling assault weapons. Who in God's name needs a weapon that can hold 100 rounds or 40 rounds or 20 rounds? It's just wrong. And I'm not going to give up till it's done.